Hi everyone, welcome to MagRevo. I'm product engineer Jesse. In today's video, I will show you the parallel function of MagRevo's LNA series split phase hybrid inverter. By connecting inverters in parallel, we can increase the power capacity of the system. In this video, we will parallel four units of 12 kilowatt hybrid inverters together. And next, I will show you how to wire the whole system and set them up for parallel operation. Okay, let's open this inverter. Now we can see all the wiring space here. These are the battery terminals and the battery breaker. We have four sets of PV terminals and these are the generator inputs and the generator breaker. Grid inputs and two sets of grid breakers. Load inputs and two sets of load breakers. This is the neutral bar and this is the PE bar. Right over here, these are the RJ45 communication inputs. Let's start wiring. We'll use the first inverter as a master and the other three as slaves. I'll show you how to wire the master inverter as the wiring for the other three is basically the same. This is the battery wiring for the master inverter. Make sure you connect all the inverters to the same battery bank and do not use separate battery banks in this parallel system or the system will not work normally. And the battery communication cable is connected to the BMS port of the master inverter. Make sure the battery communication is compatible with our inverter. When paralleling, each inverter connects to its own PV system. Our 12K LNA has 4 MPPTs, and each MPPT can connect to one PV stream. Connect L1 and L2 to the grid input terminals of each inverter. Combine the L1 wires from all 4 inverters and the L2 wires from all 4 inverters. Then, connect the combined L1 and L2 wires to the grids L1 and L2. Install the CT on L1 and L2 of the grid. And make sure the arrow of CT is pointed to the grid side. And the communication cable of CT is connected to the CT L1 and L2 port of the master inverter. Connect L1 and L2 to the load input terminals of each inverter. Combine the L1 wires from all four inverters and the L2 wires from all four inverters. And connect these combined wires to the L1 and L2 of your load panel. and connect neutral wires to each inverter. Connect these neutral wires to the neutral bar of the main surface panel as shown in the diagram. Finally, connect the PE wires to each inverter. Connect these PE wires to the PE bar of the main surface panel as shown in the diagram. Let's wire the parallel communication cables. CAN1 of master 1 is connected to CAN1 of slave 2. CAN2 of slave 2 is connected to CAN2 of slave 3. CAN1 of slave 3 is connected to CAN1 of slave 4. Now the wiring for these inverters is done. Let's turn on the breakers inside the inverter. Push hard to close the cabinet and lock it. And we're ready to start the system. Turn on the grid breaker.
With the power from the grid, the inverter is now starting automatically. And you can check information from the screen. Click the screen to verify that the firmware of the four inverters is the same. Enter the setting to verify that the module ARM version and DSP version of the four inverters is the same. Let's do the parallel setting for the master inverter. Click the setting button on home page and password 5 once. Click parallel setting, select parallel enable and choose master. Click parallel number and enter 4. Click parallel address and enter 1. Click save button to save the settings. Now click the grid setting. Choose 120-240V split and choose proper standard, the default is as showing. Click the arrow, select the grid standard, the default is America. Click save button to save the settings. The setting for Slave 2 inverter is similar. Enter the parallel setting menu and choose Slave for Slave 2 inverter. Click parallel address and enter 2. Click save button to save the settings. Now similar setting for Slave 3 Inverter. Enter the parallel setting menu and choose Slave for Slave 3 Inverter. Click parallel address and enter 3. Click save button to save the settings. And the setting for Slave 4 inverter is similar. Enter the parallel setting menu and choose Slave for Slave 4 inverter. Click parallel address and enter 4. Click save button to save the settings. The CT for the 4 units parallel system is not the standard CT provided by McGrivo. If you require the CT, please contact your dealer. When using the CT, ensure you change CT ratio to 4000 to 1 in the setting menu. When paralleling 2 to 3 inverters, the default CT is compatible and you don't need to change CT ratio. Now all settings for parallel operation are complete. Let's check the running condition on the screen. Make sure there is no alarm. Turn on the battery. Press the buttons of these inverters to start the system. Turn on the circuit breaker of the load. Energy flowing. Now the grid is charging the battery and powering the load. Let's turn off the circuit breaker of the grid and the system will switch from on grid to off grid automatically. You can see now the battery is powering the load. By using an oscilloscope, we detected the voltage waveform of the load. When we turned off the grid circuit breaker, the waveform on the oscilloscope briefly fluctuated but very quickly returned to normal. The parallel system kept supplying power to the load smoothly. The residential energy storage system is running as shown. LNA series hybrid inverter takes a key role to manage and transform the power.
Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.